Expert has seen better days. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we've, we've had a little bit of a search on this uh, next painting trip and we're looking for something called a chattel house and this is one of them. This is uh, one of the historic little houses uh, in Barbados and they are quite old now. They're, I think they set, come back to the 19th century and there's lots of, ha lots of cars going by this one so we found this one but it's right by the side of a road which makes it a little bit awkward for sound and there's a lot of cars going by which you can see so most of the chattel houses that there are are next to roads so we've got no choice but to do a painting by the side of the road <laughs> there's lots of lots going on um so this is one of them and they were they were designed as a sort of temporary accommodation when after the emancipation of the slaves the um they, they designed this house so that the the workers could be sort of itinerant workers where they could wander around and uh, set up their house uh, very easily um <laughs> so it, it was designed to collapse down into a in, onto a trailer, so they were very small, and then they could be, then they could be put up anywhere. So most of them have gone now. So there's there's not a huge number of them left, um, just uh, one or two sprinkles of them. But uh, they they are they are very beautiful, <laughs> but they do tend to be next to roads, which is making it a little bit awkward for for filming them. So this is quite a busy road. So anyway, we'll we'll get to it and see what we can do. Here's the little sketch I've done of the beautiful little chattel house here. Uh, it's a lovely colour blue, but um, I think that'll do a nice little composition. Right, so uh, I've done the drawing and uh, yeah, it looks, looks okay. So now it's a question of working out where to start it, which is the interesting part and the sort of moment where you think, ooh, this is just about to happen. So it's almost like having a little examination, like back to school days with uh, doing, a, doing a watercolor painting. So I think it's gonna start with the sky, paint the, do the butt at the background and then paint over it to begin with, and then work down into the, bit, into the actual house, the chattel house. Uh, here we go, the first marks. Okay, a bit more. So this is um, cobalt blue, which is the colour of Barbados, really. And just got my little mop, my Winsor Newton mop out again. And I'm going to work this, maybe a little bit of raw umber, just to give it a bit of variation. And work this into the entire scene, leaving a little bit of little bits of patches uh, just to indicate a bit of cloud or oh, there isn't there is no cloud today but I still like to <laughs> have a little bit of variation on it hope you enjoyed that car going by All right, so that's just going around the side of the house so really just um, attacking this part really the sooner you get things down the better I, I feel with painting if, if you if you delay too long, it just it's difficult to make the decisions. And uh, it, once you've made a decision, then you, you feel a bit better, actually. I do. Right. OK, so that's, that's that part done. Right, so that's the first bit in the blue sky, which is, all, which is always a, well, the sky is a pretty quick one part of it, really. And now I'm going to go down to the next big block of colour, which is actually the roof. And it's an interesting shade of red. So trying to work out. There's lots of different reds in there, but I'm just going to try and just pop something down um, quite simply. It's like a rusty coloured red, which is nice. So that down there. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good version of that red. And you've got this, this one here is also red. Put a bit more red in. That's red. 
a little bit of red here and here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Right, okay, so now I'm going to work on the slightly shaded side of the house. And it's less shaded than it was. And I'm going to use a bit of cerulean blue here. I love that colour. So it's, I want to make it a slightly different from the sky as well. So make sure it's a, it's a different cerulean, a different colour from the sky. So pop that in. I'm trying to paint a little bit outside. Um, make sure I don't cover the whites too much of the window frames. So, yeah. So just popping that down. Fun. Okay, then it's got some darker sections in there as well where the shadows of the roof are in. But on quite yet. Painted the windows beneath the windowsill. So the doors have a white frame around it, which I'm going to try and keep in. It's very much what you leave out in watercolour. Let's see if I can get that on. Much lighter wash. So that's the, that's the side of the house. I think the side of the house is her main entrance, the lady's entrance who lives here. But she had a nice chat to actually. She's a very nice woman. I did ask her whether we could paint her house and she was very happy for us to do that. And there's a little bit of green in that in the far, the other bit of the wall. And there again. And then it turns back to blue on this bit. Right. Okay, so I'm going to paint the base layer of the, there's a sort of concrete base to this particular chattel house, although in the old days it would never have had that because they were, they were designed to sort of pick up and go. So they would never have this sort of concrete nature to them. Trying to, it's trying to, one of the things I'm trying to do is create age in the picture without actually sort of painting the detail in. So trying, trying to make it look a little bit older. And that's done by, I think, varying the color quite a lot. Right. Was the school bus going by? This massive engine. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to get into the sh the shadow section below the below the roof, and that would give it a sense of um, that the roof's coming over the over the actual side of the building. So it's quite an important part to do. Lots of shadows. Shadow here as well. So what I'm what I'm trying to do is find the values, find the dark bits in it, and try and paint those in. Got some nice green curtains in the window. Keep you on painting the side of the building at the moment. I'm trying to get there's lots of details on it, so it's it's quite a tricky thing to paint for an impressionist scene. Really, you don't want I don't I don't want to make it too realistic. Go to a smaller brush just to paint a little bit of the details in. So they're basically just boards, tongue, tongue and groove boards on the sides. So I want to indicate that they're that that's what it is. On the side there. Right, so um, I'm sort of working into the background now, trying to bring in the rest of the scenery. 
of it, just to give it a sense of its inner place now. So I've, I've, done, I've done a fair amount of the chattel house, and um, I, I want to leave that now because I want to make sure I start to get other things in, which is important to do. Otherwise, you just you end up with uh, just a nice chattel house done and nothing else. And they've got wooden bits of wooden strips down the side. I think that's a sort of repair job. There's the bits of wood here. I said I was going to go to another place in the picture, but I haven't yet. Seems to be caught out in this. Now the sun's gone, come back again. <laughs> that was a loud one. That was super loud. So these boards give a, give a nice sense of shape to it. So you feel them going at angles. Right, I'm going to work on the roof a bit now, um, just to get the darker parts of it. Just to get the sense of the of the corrugation there, so not too much. So that's the top of the roof, and a few corrugations. Don't do too much. It's always tricky to know when to stop doing something. Um, just a few hints, maybe. Corrugations. Don't want to overdo it. Now, a little porch on the top. True. Now, that's the little porch roof coming in. Right. Oh, no, that was dirty. Right, so I'm just trying to blot out the bit of, get some white back on this thing. And when I p tried to push my finger against it, my finger was dirty and it made it even worse. So that wasn't so good. I'll get the trunks in now. It's two big trees. They really are quite big. I'm going to paint those. Side. Lots of trunks, lots and lots going on with those two trees. Different shapes coming in. Get darker at the top, because at the top of the tree there's a lot of leafage, so that makes it a lot darker. It's like the, the, the top of the tree is almost like an umbrella. It's an umbrella of leaves. Very complicated. But again, I want to find a way of making it easier for me. Hopefully you'll have a go at some plan air stuff. And if, if you do, you realize why I paint like I do. And the reason why it is because of speed. Uh, there, there is a time limit on, that, on here, which isn't the same when you work at home. And when you have that time limit on, limit on you, it, it changes you. So you, you learn to see things more simply. And you, and, you, and you pick up the essence of what it is rather than the complication about what it is. So I'm just going to paint the trees in now, the leafage of the trees, and trying to sort of use a bit of dry brush technique on it. So I'm going to do it in a couple of layers. So I'm painting the lighter layer first, and then the darker layer over the top, so that the, the, actual, the actual trunk of it is much darker underneath. So I've got to get those darknesses in. So again, painting anything is the, the, everything is almost the same. It is a value study, and you have to pick out the correct values. See those values coming in. So I'm sort of stabbing at the picture, at the at the at the, at the um, paint, really, just to try and create that mottled sort of look at it. Hello, <laughs> here's here's the owner. What do you think so far? It looked nice. It's coming on, isn't it? You recognise your house? Yeah. When I go on holiday, I just like to paint something. Oh, okay. Um, so it's nice to... It's the fun thing to do, isn't it? It's true. You need a bit of fun in your life, don't you? Correct. Because <laughs> <laughs> they come out to see cars, they're going to shut up the windows, see, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. Now, that palm tree I'm going to put in. Which palm tree? That, that one over there. I'm going to make it a run down there. So I'm going to put a nice palm tree in here. Coconut tree. Coconut tree, you call them. 
Yeah, coconut tree. Coconut tree. Yeah, drink the water. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're so nice, isn't it? Yeah. Coconut tree, yellow, 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 yellow. Coconut tree coming in here. Yellow, 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 yellow. What does yellow, yellow, yellow mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Yellow, yellow, yellow. yellow. You drying in a coconut tree. <laughs> Elay, 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 coconut tree. <laughs> A lot of people. I like elay, elay, elay. It's going. It's getting there. Yeah, no grow up here. I like a coconut tree. Coconut tree, yalla yalla yalla. <laughs> yalla 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 yalla. Right, um, we, we're moving along. I just put a couple of palm trees in, just briefly. Just give it a bit of shape on that side. Let them dry a bit and then I'll uh, put, some, put a bit more in. It was fun talking to the owner then. She's a lovely woman. And a bit of cobalt blue, just to catch the lights, dark stations. Just hinting at it. Just going to put a little bit of details in, little dab dabs of colour really, nothing complicated. Just to indicate change. In the um, in the grass and lots of different places. Some darker bits here in the shadow. I'm gonna put some marks on the coconut trees. <laughs> Not soaking still. Still very wet. Can't do that. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of white paint now to these things uh, just to bring out bits of it, like the window frames. So just these few touches now, and I'm drawing it to an end. A light bulb at the top. <laughs> Hello. Do you like it? <laughs> Here's the painting just on finished. Um, it turned out quite nicely. I, I liked the painting. It was a very different colour scheme from my normal one, much lighter in tone. Uh, I, d I didn't do a proper finishing off of this picture like I usually do. A lot of people turned up and I was a bit shy. <laughs> I thought to myself that uh, I'll do one later. So anyway, here's the picture. And I hope you enjoyed the making of this programme. It was a lot of fun to do in a slightly awkward place by the side of a road, but that's what you have to do when you're a landscape painter. You've got to paint in unusual places. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you could uh, sort of like and subscribe, that'd be great. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.